Hello, this is Mrs. Spellman. Welcome to my fifth set of flashcards for J276. We're working on 1.5, Network Topologies, Protocols and Layers as part of Paper 1. Here are the bullet points for this topic. Now let's get started. Topology. Topology is a way to describe the physical layout of a network. Star topology. All nodes are connected to a switch. Mesh topology. All nodes are connected to each other. Wi-Fi. Allows wireless communication between devices. It uses radio frequencies. Interference can occur. It's easy for users to move around. It's easier to intercept data sent over Wi-Fi, so it is important to encrypt this data. Ethernet. Ethernet is a standard. It describes how data is transmitted between devices on a cabled LAN. MAC address. Every hardware device on a network has a MAC address. This is a unique identifier. It is provided by the manufacturer. Protocol. A protocol is a set of rules that governs the transmission of data between two devices on a network. IP address. This is an address assigned to devices on a network using the IP protocol. TCP IP is a protocol. It governs how data is transmitted on the internet. HTTP is a protocol. It governs how data is transferred between a host and a client. HTTPS is a protocol. It is a secure version of HTTP. FTP. FTP is a file transfer protocol. It governs how files are transmitted between a client and a server. POP. POP stands for Post Office Protocol. It's not really used these days. It governs the retrieval of emails from a remote mailbox. IMAP. Instant Message Access Protocol is an email protocol. It governs the retrieval of emails from a re remote mailbox. SMTP. Simple Mail Transfer Protocol is an email protocol. It governs the sending of an email. Layers. Network layers are a concept and each layer is self-contained. They allow different developers to concentrate on one aspect of the network. A layer can be taken out and edited without affecting other layers. Layers promote interoperability between vendors. Packet switching. The message is divided into packets. The packets have numbers and destination addresses. They can take different routes across the network and arrive at different times, and not necessarily in the sequence that they were sent. The packets are reassembled at their destination. And that's it for my J276 1.5 flashcards.